Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I'd like to show you how to back up and restore a course. This is um, an old course from uh, Evo 2018. Notice I turned editing on, so uh, you can see that it's red. Now it's green, so let me turn it back on. Then I'm going to scroll down into the course editor, course administration, so I can back it up. Next, I'm going to go to the backup. You can see it right there. And then I'm going to, first of all, I want the course empty and I want to change its name. So I'll get rid of all of this. And then I'm going to go to next and notice what I do here. Now here I'm going to get rid of um, everything. Okay, so click on none. So everything is unticked. Then I'm going to go to next because I, as I said, I want the course empty. Then I'm going to perform backup. Now this isn't the end. There's a lot more. It takes a few, um, I guess, a couple of minutes. All right, next I'm going to um, restore. So this is the course. Click on that I backed up. Click on restore. And then um, it's going to continue right there. And then notice restore is a new course. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to keep the same link same number so i'm going to this is the course into this course i'm going to delete the contents and then restore it which is going to be restored with nothing there and then notice include enrollment methods that's asking me for the last time no and then uh, just to make sure that i got rid of everything i'm going to overwrite and give it another name i'm going to call it this it's going to be number five so uh same thing here but it's number five if i call it the same number it'll call it a copy then i'm going to um, also change the date to the 19th of course this is going to be sometimes in february but i'll just keep january here and change that later on i'm going to um okay let's continue here see what i have here perform restore so notice first back it up and don't be alarmed if it takes some time you'll see a blank page but just be patient depending on your connection and then you click on continue notice uh, the name of the course is there so let's wait till that comes up and there it is notice it says unknown if you get this i'm glad it happened here I'm going to go down to the course administration, which is right here. Click on edit and make a few changes here. Make sure, well, I want it to show. I don't want it here. I actually want it in this one. So the course category is now correct. And then um, I don't need this to enable. And let's see if there's anything else. Um, yes, I'd like an image added so i'm going to delete this one and i already have the image here so i'm going to go into recent there it is that's the one that i want for week four and then now the course format look like whether it's four five three and so on let me show you another way of uh, doing this all you need to do is you go down to what's called a reset click on reset and if you want to remove the participants for example you can change the course date you can delete events if you have any delete all notes delete all comments uh, completion data um, blog associations and company you can also change the roles no rules delete all local rules um, grade book groups and of course the forms which uh, is a good idea and then you simply um, select all okay or deselect all select by default and then you simply reset okay um, I can select all and then uh, you reset the whole course okay this is not going to change much but it just makes it a lot easier than backing things up so you simply click on reset and then uh, it's a lot faster and there you can see what's going on you've deleted everything since there's nothing here then it just looks exactly the same but this is a fast way of doing things instead of backing it up and that's it hope this has been of help and um, enjoy
Moodling, if you have any questions, feel free to always ask.